This video will go over how to export all of the zip codes when you have some territories uh, created by states, some territories created by counties, and some created by zips all on the same map. So this is how to export all of the zip codes within those territories. So in order to do this, uh, I'm going to take a look at Wisconsin, which I created on the state level. Uh, this area in Illinois and Iowa I created at the county level, and then I have two territories over in Massachusetts that I created at the zip code level. So in order to do this, we're going to need to bring in our zip code point layer that's available with our 12-month subscriptions. So if you click Plot Data on Map, we're going to click Next, and we're going to look at our public data folder that's available from server. You can just choose it from the pull-down list. If we go down to the bottom, we can see our zip code layers, and I'm going to choose the most recent one, which is July. And what this is going to do is it's going to represent all of the boundary and point zip codes in the country on the map at once. So I'm going to click Plot, and soon the, the map will be covered uh, with these dots. Uh, just to briefly mention, uh, you'll notice that we have point zip codes and boundary zip codes. Boundary zip codes are those uh, zip codes that are defined by a shape that we all know about. Uh, point zip codes are buildings that are typically within boundary zip codes. Maybe it's a post office that has its own zip code uh, or a government building that's within a boundary zip code. So I briefly wanted to mention that so when you see it in the list. So I'm going to close out of the data window for now and I'm just going to turn off my zip code layer in the map and data box just so I don't have to see all those dots on the map. So even though I can't see them, we're going to take advantage of them now in our data window. So I'm going to click at the uh, data window at the top. Looks like a calendar. And from the pull down list, we want to be sure that it's on our zip codes 2019 July. You'll see now it's invisible because I unchecked it. We do not want to use this zip code layer and we don't want to use any of these other layers. We strictly want to use zip codes. Next, uh, we're going to go over to this kind of gold puzzle piece. And this is going to have a search for all of the data inside of the territories, and we're going to save the results in a marketing list. I'm going to click Next. You'll see a list of the different uh, territories that I have, and I just made the territory names with zips, with zips, with counties, with states, just so it's clear uh, which territories were made which way. So I'm going to click Select All, and I'm going to click Next. The next thing we're going to do is it's going to... Uh, have us give a name to this new marketing list. So I'm going to do all zips within territories. You can obviously name it anything you like. So now uh, from the pull down list, we can see our boundary and point zip codes within the territories. Uh, if we want to, we can add a territory name column through our more data button. When we click on it, we can just choose territory, bring it over. And if we do the top arrow, then that'll bring it to the top. And if we want to, we can eliminate some additional fields. If it's uh, redundant data, we can highlight them all, click the left arrow, and that'll make those go away. And once we click Set Data Columns, we're left with our zip codes, our territory name column now, uh, whether it's a boundary or point zip code. And if I scroll through my list, I can see I have my Massachusetts South made with zips, Massachusetts North. If I keep going, I can see Territory 2 made with states, and then I can see Territory 1 made with counties. So that's all there. And now to export, I just click this button on the end. And now I can export, just click next. And I can choose to save my file. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks and have a great day.